Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's me again Chelsea and today we're going to do another Spiffbo 9 finalist review this time for Daughter of the Beast by EC Greaves we are following our main character Zintail I hope I'm saying that right, Fairwinter and we're introduced to her as a character to begin with and she is obviously just a, a little girl she's 10 at the start of this book and we are introduced to her and one of her friends while they're playing in the woods near her house now the story doesn't really kick off until a little bit later in this day of play um where her very sleepy village is raided by the Volcari. now the Volcari are dog-like monsters as she describes them as a 10 year old they walk on two legs but they still have paws for hands um and they're very obviously dog-like in their physiology and she is taken for some prophecy that she does not understand. This triggers a series of events for Zintail as she is captured, treated badly, uh, shipped off to go and work with the Hobgoblins, which is another race that we are introduced to within this book, all again in the name of a prophecy that she does not understand. We follow her from 10 all the way up to 15, 16. We follow her through a range of different things that happen to her alongside obviously going through puberty and all of the things that come with being a girl in that sort of environment. She herself is very similar in physiology to a human in our world. So obviously you can probably imagine the sort of things that she's gonna go through within the puberty shown in this book. This book is steeped in Slavic myth and it does portray a wide fantasy world filled with obviously prophecies, trials and tribulations and blends action and adventure into this coming of age story. So I would say that's a pretty good uh, sum up maybe of the book. Personal thoughts, I think this book was good. I did enjoy it. From a reviewer point of view, I did struggle slightly with some of the pacing that is shown within this book. It can be a little bit jarring. There are points within the story where we finish one chapter in one place and we start another in a completely different place and I did sit there a couple of times and go how the heck did we get here one time that is kind of justified because we are shot forward in time and then we kind of go back in that almost like two days earlier sequence that happens a lot sometimes in stories and tv shows so that one wasn't too bad because obviously it justified and explained but there was at least one other time where I was just really jarred and like I don't know why I am at this specific point. I really did enjoy reading from Zinatel's point of view. We are only really in her point of view. Um, it's quite hard though <laughs> being being an, an adult um, and reading from a 10 year old point of view regarding a lot of things. I did enjoy the fact that we learn things as she learns things. I found that quite helpful. There was no real info dumping situation there was no just cramming everything onto the page she asked questions because she didn't understand she wasn't raised in this kind of environment and the questions were answered so we as a reader got a better understanding of like the volcari and how they work and how they were raised or how the hob hobgoblins were raised and how they go through stuff as well but again reading from a 10, ten year old point of view um was a little bit tricky. I would say this book is a lot more YA because of that. Um, there are maybe a little bit of like young adult teenagery themes towards the end of the book when our main character hits 15, 16, falls in love with the boy and fade to black, you know? But otherwise it, it is a good story i am really intrigued with what is going to happen next so this is actually a trilogy and i believe all three 
parts of this story are already published so I do want to read the rest of this series. I would love to actually understand more. I feel like the latter half of this book was better for me personally because obviously the character has aged up. She's not as young. She's still making the decisions that you kind of shout with your book and go why are you doing this but at the same time you have to understand she is still quite young and she is quite sheltered even though she does become one of the Volcari, that is essentially the point of this book, a lot of it is like training and travel and all of those things, um, she is quite naive in a lot of ways because the Volcari are how they are and they're not very similar to her and her physiology either, so there's there are some bits where I was just like you're really naive but you really love to be violent but then you look at how she's raised and it does make sense. So overall I think this is a good book. I did enjoy it. I think you'll like this book if you like coming of age stories. If that is more your thing then I think you'll definitely like this. I think you'll also like this book if you can look past the pacing and just kind of take in the story as it comes. I do think this is a really good story. I think the timeline works. There's just a little bit of pacing but if you can look past that I think I think you will really enjoy this and I think you'll also enjoy this book just if you want to see like it, it that there's a strong found family vibe in this book. It's definitely very strong. Zintel makes friends obviously with the people that capture her as you usually probably would and she is essentially raised with this group of Volcari pups and she makes some really strong bonds in there. I really enjoyed that. Um, I don't really think anyone in this book really has a bad, like an evil bone in their body from the characters that we interact with. Obviously there is a big evil, there's always a big evil, but I don't think any of the actual characters that Zintel kind of spends a lot of her time with, I don't think any of them are really evil. A lot of it's just like a byproduct of what they do, but I did really enjoy the found family aspect. I thought that was quite sweet and I, I do enjoy reading from a found family point of view. Uh, so there you go. I hope uh, this nice short review of Daughter of the Beast inspires you, intrigues you to check this book out. I really think it's, it is a good book. I think there's just obviously some, some tweaks, but I'm hoping that the further we go into the series, obviously the better it's going to get. And I think that's just what this book is, possibly just first book finding a rhythm. And towards the end of this book, there definitely was a better rhythm. And I'm, in, I'm looking forward to trying out the rest of the series. So that's everything for this review. If you did enjoy it, please give a like for it supports me and my channel leave me a comment down below if this book intrigues you or if it doesn't i'd love to hear your thoughts if you want to leave me an emoji instead of a comment leave me any like dog emojis or wolf emojis uh, and if you want to see more of me please consider subscribing down below and ringing that notification bell to get notified every single time i upload new videos i try and upload twice a week usually a monday and a thursday but that seems to be changing at the minute uh so subscribe ring the bell and all that fun stuff if you want to see more bookish content from me but otherwise that is everything for today i hope you're having an amazing day and i'll see you soon in the next one bye